Uh, there's some bad news, maybe with Disney, but there's some good news as well yeah. about the Obi Wan series. Ooh, a casting announcement for you what? Huh? So has it actually been announced by Disney? Uh, it was reported by something Variety or Deadline. Deadline. Like, Deadline. Like it, it no, is other wait, people were reporting. Deadline, it. the one you were complaining about that had <laughs> wrong facts on the last Disney thing we had. No, it was Variety, I believe. I think uh, a Variety and other major entertainment yeah. outlets. Yeah. So all, when all, it gets to this point, it's all but confirmed, and I think they're waiting to like have a really big moment for D twenty three, maybe. Which is happening right now, I think. Yeah, one day. I haven't heard uh, any great It's happening company. August 23rd, so tomorrow to tomorrow. the 25th. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Um, so, I mean, we'll probably be getting a lot more awesome Star Wars you know, stuff to talk about. And obviously, the Mandalorian and all that stuff. But do you have a, a thing open or anything? Uh, I do. I mean, there's not a lot about it. Sure. Ewan McGregor is a Jedi. Once more, the veteran actor has agreed to slip back into the Obi-Wan <sighs> character's robe for a limited series. Who is it, Calvin? Set to premiere said. No, on no, Disney+. Who is Plus. It? What's his name? Ewan McGregor. Yeah. <laughs> Ewan McGregor. <laughs> no other details are available, although fans expect to learn more at Disney's D23. Yeah. So I know that. The thing, the thing is about this, like, we've, you know, I've, I've heard rumors, you know, the last five years, ever since they started doing Rogue One, that, hey, Obi-Wan. They're going to do an Obi-Wan series mm-hmm. with Ewan McGregor. Now, is, is it a series or is it a movie? Now, it was. A movie. It was it a, movie. a movie. They had a script writer. They, you know, there was a lot of rumors about directors. Uh, and then once Solo didn't perform very well, it is now switched now to, to a, a series, series on, on Disney+. Plus service. Okay. With Ewan McGregor. And I've heard that Ewan McGregor is going to be directing episodes of Ooh. it as well. I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Because he's had some great stuff. Like, I haven't seen Fargo, but he was on Fargo on television, you know? Yeah, yeah I heard it was and, amazing. And he's got some really interesting, like, projects coming up. But I'm so happy that we're getting, like, Ewan McGregor. And I'm, I, my, my head just fills with possibilities. I, I don't want to kind of... I kind of don't want to explore them sometimes. Yeah. So I can just let them tell me a story, you know? Well, that's mm-hmm. the issue. Um, I know we've had different times in, like, Arrowverse stuff where we speculate, oh, yeah. man, that's a great idea. That's sure. what it's going to be. Yeah. And then it doesn't do any of that. And then yeah. we're kind of like, damn, I wish I would have done what I thought they were, <laughs> they were going to do, you know? Sure. But I, I'm excited for that idea. I don't want to get my hopes up in case for some reason... Mm-hmm. They say it's not true, or something. You know, something yeah. happens. This would crush me. You know what I mean? It really would. Like, I, I, out of out of anything with Obi Wan, like I'd love you, McGregor, to reprise his role. I'm very curious on what they could do, mm-hmm. but I also would really like a like Jedi Apprentice story back in the day and make it like animated, and then you and McGregor or uh, sure. Arnold Taylor re, yeah. re, re, like redoes the yeah. I, yeah I would, you can tell some great that. stories with him and Qui Gon Jinn early on. Yeah, like, Rick great. and Aaron. I mean, I don't know if you did, but Rick and I we read the Jedi Apprentice books. Yep. Yeah, it's actually There's some of the few books I've read. Jude Watson, uh, <laughs> fucking, they're all real good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, just like an old bitter disillusioned Obi Wan on Tatooine, thinking about yeah. the sins of Anakin and. Yeah, and you know, be some good stuff. The man. actual lore and story excites me, but honestly, what really excites me is like, you know, Ewan has been fielding this question for since episode three, two thousand five. Yeah. Like, hey, Decade. when are you gonna, are you going to come back as Obi Wan? He'd be like, if they ha- if they want, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's got to the point where I've been asked, uh, and I don't mean any offense. No, I've I been understand. asked this question so many times, and I answer questions. Yeah. When I'm asked them, because I've been brought up like that. Yeah, polite. it's polite. And um, <laughs> it, a... it's got to the point now where it looks like I'm touting for work at Disney's front door. <laughs> oh, I see. Like, give me the hope. I see what you're saying. Cool. Yeah. But I, of course, I'd be happy to do it. Like, what does that guy when he goes back is like? Okay, now I'm closer to Al- Alec Guinness because he studied Alec Guinness a lot with his performance. Mm-hmm. You can really watch episodes one to three and see a change, you know. And, but he never got like he, he got you know what. T- uh, 20 years away from Alec Guinness, you know? Yeah. yeah. Now he's going to be like 10 uh, or something. I don't know well, exactly. Yeah. Depends on the time frame. frame. Yeah. But I mean, but I mean, like, what, what choices does he make, like, as an actor? Especially if he's going to be doing some direction and stuff like that. Like, I, that's as much as, like, exciting for me as just new Star Wars lore about one of my favorite characters. Sure. You yeah. know? No, yeah, f- for real. Absolutely. Oh, and I, Grant, I, I would love more, like, you know, Qui Gon and Obi Wan stories. Oh, fuck I yeah. would love that. I mean, yeah. But, yes. Like, I mean, even if it was just, you know, James Arnold Taylor, which I don't want to insult the man by saying just, because I love James Arnold Taylor playing Obi-Wan. I love it so yeah. much. He's so good. Like, he is a, you know. Anakin, control your insolence. Yeah. <laughs> I have more hours with James Arnold Taylor than I do with McGregor. That's you know? true. Yeah. So even though I would love that, I would love that, and I would also probably more love seeing you and McGregor do something. You, like you know, that, you who know? also has expressed a strong desire to come back was mm-hmm. Joel Egerton. Okay. Who played uh, uh, Uncle... Uh, Uncle Owen. Yeah, Uncle Owen. And that guy's... In the prequels. In the prequels. Yeah. yeah he went on, and he, that guy went on to be a prominent actor. Very prominent. He yeah, played uh-huh. in, like, uh, the Brothers movie with him versus Tom Hardy. They're fighting each other. He uh, played a movie with uh, Jason Bateman where he's, like, stalking his family. Mm-hmm. He's been in some great freaking stuff. Yeah. Um, so he said, yeah, I'll bring him back, man. He tell interesting stories of that. Warrior. 
Warrior. Yeah, it's called yeah. Warrior. It'd yeah. be cool if they brought it's back one of the like, Baba's favorites. Yeah. Imagine him and you McGregor on screen together. Sure. Gosh, it'd be cool if you brought back like you know some things from Episode Three. Yeah, you know because it's been so long now. Like when when did Episode Three come out? Two thousand May nineteenth, two thousand five. Yeah. So I mean, it's been over ten years. So you're like you, you're kind of getting closer to like depending on when you put it in that gap, you can yeah. make it fit. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, there's been so much like awesome fan art of like what he would look like. Like <laughs> it's it's like half you and then half Alec. You know? Yeah. There's a lot of cool What's things. Like Grieve I'm not a fan of the Jedi, but Kenobi is still an awesome character. <laughs> <laughs> I love Grief. I know yeah. exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I get you. But yeah, I mean, like, I'm also not one of those guys that's like, no, you know. We should say too, like, you know, uh, Rick and Calvin haven't seen all of Star Wars, yeah. you know, so no. we're not going to go too far in terms of like speculating. They're, stuff. they're missing most of the animated yeah. shows. Yeah, Rick's missing the the end movies. Sure, <laughs> you know, like, so we don't go too far into some things. But like, I'm not one of those guys that's like. Obi Wan cannot leave Tatooine. It can't happen. You know, like George I, let him leave. Yeah, I know. I mean, the dude can leave for Jude Watson. Yes, <laughs> like the dude can leave Tatooine. You know, he just needs to make sure he's you know his primary thing is guarding Luke. You know, yeah. But that doesn't mean like twenty four seven surveillance. Well, maybe like the guarding thing, Luke makes him leave Tatooine. Well, yeah, yeah, the thing you, you know? got to look at is like okay, here's what we said in Episode Four, and here's what was said in Episode Three. Mm-hmm. We got to make sure we don't contradict. You know the storyline that we have, yeah. But we also want to tell an interesting story in the middle. Yeah. So yeah, I I hope and I you know as long as they get announced and I'm I'm happy. I think that it'd be good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I enjoyed Solo. I, I know a lot of people that were kind of against Solo, but I enjoyed Solo. A I lot. enjoyed Solo. I hope there's a crossover between Obi Wan and Mandalorian at some point. Well, I know. Uh, well, Mandalorian's taking Donald place Glover was hoping to continue that six? character. Like there was talks about Donald Glover and uh. uh Whatever her name is, Amelia, who, uh, Amelia Clark. Yeah, who, yeah, Amelia Clark, however she played, uh, like, like them having their own spinoff as well. Yeah. I mean, and it's not impossible, you know, because they had plans for more of that, like, uh, underground, underworld movie, single movie things. And, yeah. you know, just be, Obi-Wan was going to be that. Mm-hmm. There's nothing saying that we might not get, you know, some, well, a Han Solo movie. Again. I wouldn't mind. I loved, I loved that Solo movie. I wouldn't oh, be yeah. against the idea of going into, like, a TV series version yeah. of, like, Solo, or you know, yeah, what, tell Aaron, it. Aaron, what's his name? Earhart, something. E- Eckhart, Eckhart, e- Aaron Eckhart, uh, something. No, that's not right, is it? No, that's the guy. No. That's, that's the other guy. That's yeah, the, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> I don't remember what his name. Alan Aldrich. Aldrich, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah, he was good, man. Alden talking about Alden. Solo. Yeah, yeah. Alden Aldrich or some Alden. shit. Alden. Alden, Alden, Alden. Alden. Yeah, Alden. I'm thinking of the dude who plays motherfucking Two Face in Dark Knight. Yeah. yeah. Well, whenever you said that, I was like Eckhart. That's yeah. the first thing I thought of, and I was like Alden. Alden. Aaron Reich. Aaron Reich. My yeah. friend's boyfriend, she's trying to get him to watch. He's never, he's not spoiled by Star Wars or anything. Sure. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I was trying to tell her, you got to get him to watch four, five, uh, one, two, three, six, and then seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And yeah. she's, uh, just Rogue one. one. She's four, five, six. I think you should go that way. You could, but Rogue, going yeah, from Rogue really One good. to four, mm-hmm. like, because her problem is, like, well, his problem is, is like, he just, he can't he appreciate like old, old cinema. Oh. But I feel like okay. they've aged so well. I really think they've aged well. So you like, I don't think Rogue One is a good intro so you, to Vader. No. No. I don't think especially it's when you see him. No, it does, but it does, I don't think it's a good... In, like, his first scene is like, oh, fuck, it's Vader. But instead, you're like, oh, who's this motherfucker? Yeah. It's Dan having a good shadow. <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I have to rewatch it and be like, okay, if I've never seen Vader before, what yeah. do I think of him in this moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he's still... You know, because he has that like whole, a, like, choking thing and stuff. You're yeah. like, oh, man, what's going on? Well, honestly, you know what? I would just need to have... Someone do it and experiment and say what they thought. You know, she was suggesting yeah. just watch seven and eight because you you, you kind of hear about the old ones, but yeah. they're not so important. Uh, and then uh, then watch nine. Yeah, or watch seven and eight and then get them to love those, and then go back watch four, five, one, two, three, six, and then watch nine when it comes out. Yeah, which it's a real crazy order. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Cool. Anyway, uh, the Obi One thing, like I'm super excited by it. I know that we saw we have the Cassian Andor series that's going to be still. You know, they announced that a long time ago. Uh, Mandalorian, of course. Oh, Mandalorian. Um, yes, bring back Clone yes. Wars. Um, we now know that Resistance is in its final season. And generally when that happens, like, as they're wrapping up something, they kind of announce, like, the next animated thing, you know? So that's probably going to be coming up. And I wonder if that'll go to Disney Plus or not, you know? We have Resistance and Clone Wars coming. Like, yeah. Resistance comes out this fall. Yeah. And then Clone Wars is coming. For, I don't know exactly while, yeah. when. But, but we're not going to be caught up when it, it does. <laughs> Well, you guys probably we'll know. I mean, yeah, we're going to fucking do it. This, the, service, <laughs> the service starts up in November, but yeah. I don't know when Clone Wars will start itself, you know? I mean, if for some reason you guys, like, aren't going to be cut for two weeks, we're still 
we're going to do it, and we're going to be two weeks ahead of you the yeah. entire season. And then we're going to do it again with you. <laughs> and then we'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited, and the worst thing that could have happened was they're doing an Obi-Wan series and not have Ewan McGregor. Sure. Yeah. You know? That oh, would have been very That's me like Spider-Man, sure. and it's not Tom Holland. I'm like, nah, yeah. no, thank you. You know? Yeah. Just I, to, a, to a much, much, much higher degree. Yeah.